One thing that I just recently started doing in the last year or so is using a trail camera um, to, to set up on my sets to see how animals interact with my sets and my traps and, and uh, just really try to get a better grasp of what's going on when I'm not there, what's going on when an animal approaches and, and uh, is working the set. And I'll be honest with you, be, be ready to be humbled because you're going to see coyotes and animals that come right by your set, look at it, work it, and then go right on down the road. You missed them, obviously. And... Uh, get ready to see some of that because that's definitely going to happen but um, so far as camera selection one thing that you really got to consider especially if you're shooting video is uh, is battery life because shooting you know and, and most cameras that uh, will shoot video shoot some uh, high definition high quality video um, but it can really eat up battery life and so I've been looking into a bunch of different things you know you can get solar panels that attach to uh, to your trail cameras and and put a six volt battery or a 12 volt battery um, but I just recently found these in this it pairs with a Primos camera but it's a Primos extended life battery case and it'll actually accommodate you know the, the camera accommodates eight AA batteries on its own but this extended battery pack will accommodate up to 16 additional AA batteries and I haven't used all 16 I've put eight additional in the in the extra battery pack so that I've got 16 all together and that has given me a tremendous amount of battery life and I haven't had any issues you know I've left it set multiple days you know and it doesn't film something every night but you know I may wind up with uh, you know multiple after several days you know several minutes worth of footage and this this camera will only accept uh, film up to one minute so that's that's one downfall but you can set it to where it triggers pretty quickly after that so but uh, this extra battery case has, has uh, been one of the best things that I've seen so far and I'm I've started using several of these and this, this Primos camera has done really good at giving me good high quality video and I've been I've been really happy with it but like I say just uh and you don't have to do it on predator sets you know I've done it with uh on uh water trapping beavers and otters I mean it's it's just a really handy tool to see what those animals are doing when they're coming to your set um, when you're not there and it can it can really help you to see where you may have areas for improvement to improve your catch and and uh, so definitely a tool that I think every trapper should be considering using. Just be prepared to be humbled when you see, when you see what you're missing out there. And here's some footage from, from some of my trail camera uh, that I've had out. And I apologize for the date and time stamp. So I didn't notice that when I first set them out. But, you know, this coyote came in to a scent post set. I've got some urine on that, uh, that little sapling. And I had a couple of lure sticks underneath it. Um, not poked in the ground or anything. And... Obviously, that was a bad move because that coyote come in, pull up two sticks, and starts rolling in them. You know, he's interested, but he's pulling them away from where I need them to be at and off to the side, rolling in them, and just uh, really, really schooling me on that I uh, I messed up on this spot, you know. And just there he goes again, s s sniffing around, and then he's going to step all over my trap everywhere but where I needed him to be. Um, and I could tell, you know, when the next day that something had been rolling there, something had happened there, but I didn't know what had happened away from my trap. There's another coyote that comes in, but because the, the, uh, lure has been moved, he's not going to where my, my set is. And then this actually, if you watch on the left hand side, you can see a coyote. I've got a dirt hole just off to the left that actually must've just gotten caught. Um, but I've got this one that comes in. There's another one. So that's a pair. And that one is sitting there rolling where the coyote earlier had moved the lure stick to. So, you know, that that just placing the stick there and not sticking it in the ground or securing it a little bit more definitely cost me. And then you can see on the left there, I think I just caught that coyote. He's kind of rolling around over there. So I've got one catch, and, but uh, still, I, I should have had a double there for sure. Could have had a triple if I'd have had three traps there. And then, you know, there's a, a otter on a on a lodge that I had set up for beavers. Didn't have it set up for otter. Um, didn't have any kind of lure or anything. And so I obviously missed an opportunity there as well.